Orcs Must Die Unchained is the newest release in open beta from Robot Entertainment. I've been playing it for a couple weeks and I wanted to make a quick video give you guys a little bit of information about my thoughts. I know if you listen to the podcast I've been kind of talking about it saying that that's what I've been playing for the last two weeks and that's still true. So what you find upon first logging in is that there's multiple ways to play this game. There's a survival mode which is more geared towards what you might find in the older Orcs Must Die 1 and 2 games where it is players versus enemies. And uh, just like in the second one, how there was co-op, this one's been ramped up to five players. I haven't really played any of that. The mode that I've been mostly focusing on is Siege, and that is a competitive five-on-five, -five, almost MOBA style. I know there's a lot of games going around like that. Uh, this one, I kind of prefer because it's a little more simplistic. You've got three roles. You've got attackers, which are the people who want to stay with the minion waves. You've got defenders who are the people who put out all the traps and try and stop the enemy's minion waves. And then you've got a thing called a pillager, which I guess Ryan would liken to the jungler in something like League of Legends. They run around trying to break open these boxes to get EXP for their minion portals. But that's all very overall sort of general descriptive kind of stuff. It's a free-to-play game, so if you want to check it out, just go do it. I mean, there's no cost, there's no real reason not to, but uh, between that and this little video, you should have a general idea about what's going on. As far as impressions go, I really like the art style of this game. The big, kind of cartoony, chunky shoulder pad people is one of my favorite kind of art styles. I'd be happy to see this in almost every game out there. I really like it, and the minion waves can be huge, so you got a lot of stuff going on on screen all at the same time. There's a whole lot of stuff going on, and I like it in comparison to other MOBA games because it is more simplistic. There's not as much going on. The minion waves never meet each other, so you're not really worrying about how to maximize your actions and audio attacking and all that kind of stuff. There's no shop. Most of the item stuff is determined before the match where you craft cards and put them in a set deck that will tell you what you're going to have access to in the match that's upcoming. That stuff's all fine. You earn the materials to craft those cards as you play, and that's where the free-to-play stuff starts coming in, but there's no real reason to worry about that too much. None of it has an enormous impact on the actual gameplay. So my overall final impressions is just to say that it's good, clean fun. There's nothing wrong with this game. It's totally, totally fine. I actually like it quite a bit. It, the third-person perspective, I think, is really cool, and the taking away of auto-attacking and making each of your actions map sort of exactly to when you hit the button, I really like a whole lot. You have to aim everything. Nothing really automatically seeks the enemy characters. So it seems more involved, even though it is also more simplistic at the same time. Now, the overall problems that you're going to have right now is because of the open beta, there is a huge amount of problem with the matchmaking. I think this has a lot to do with maybe a lower player count, but you're going to see a lot of people who are AFK, you're going to see a lot of people who are disconnected, and it basically means that right now, maybe about 20% of the matches you get in are going to be good, solid 5 versus 5. That's a huge bummer, and it really takes away from my overall enjoyment of the game. There are lots of times where I've become so frustrated that I just didn't want to play it anymore. But I do think that there's a good core here, and I think that they've got a good little niche carved out of the mobile market to make something interesting. It just needs a little more time to simmer. This has been Sam from Select Characters. See you next time.